All right, guys, welcome back to the Snapper Academy. You guys are gonna absolutely love this video. We're on day three in Oklahoma with Nevo, guys. It's been an incredible experience so far. The doors have been incredible. The reps are learning a ton, guys, and we are creating the greatest sales force in the country. Let's get it, guys. Um, I think in sales, like you gotta be a good storyteller, right? And so imagine if you could come up with a story for each of these different 10 things for why people should go solar, right? That's where we gotta be creative. We gotta come together on that, but it's like own versus rent. Do we have a story about own versus rent, right? And that would just be a homeowner that they 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 lived in the house, they rented it, right, for for 15 years, right? And all they did was they just paid off some millionaire's house, right? They literally could have instead uh, owned that, right? They would have paid a, like the same amount for 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 owning it, but they just rented it, right? And after after 15 years, they could have had the whole house paid off, right? It was like a half a million dollar house, but instead they paid six hundred thousand dollars. In, in rent and they just paid off some millionaire's house. Right? We gotta come up with stories, right? We gotta be storytellers on the doors um, and we just gotta be interesting, right? We gotta be on the doors, talking to homeowners and getting them to love us. Nobody's gonna do it for us, like we gotta do it for ourselves, but today it is a team effort. This is not an individual sport, it's a team sport. And so we're all gonna do our part by getting into 50 conversations and setting five appointments each. And we're all gonna work together to get five deals. All right, so we gotta see ourselves doing it and that's that's it, right? Every single day we gotta have a challenge for ourselves though, right? We gotta have something to chase um, and we gotta be in competition with, with each other, right? Um, we all gotta make sure that we're tracking our notes. We all gotta make sure that we're really being intentional about the game that we're playing, right? Which the game that we're playing is KPIs. The game that we're playing is tracking our numbers um, and then the money's gonna come, right? The money's gonna water flow, right? You guys gotta believe it. Just the, the money that you're gonna make is gonna be incredible, um, but it's not about the money. It's about the person that we're gonna become in this process, right? That's why this is the best opportunity, right? That's why there is no better job. One, two, three, prodigy! Let's go to hood. All right, guys, we're out here for our knocking session. Welcome back to the greatest sales force on planet Earth. If you guys want to hit us up and join our team, make sure you guys click the link in the bio. Let's get on the doors. Let's do it. All right, clocking in, 115. Let's go. Hi, how's it going, sir? I'm working with Nevo. We're part of the net metering program. Has anybody stopped by to follow up with you about the projects going on? Oh, it's your daughter's house? I got you. Just house sitting? Yeah. Nice, cool, cool, cool. Man, you kind of look like Santa with that beard. I like that. Yeah. Have you, uh, is your daughter home by chance or no? She's not. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, reason we're stopping by is because a lot of your neighbors have been complaining about the rates going up with OG and E. They just oh, had yeah. a fifth rate hike. So yeah. a lot of the uh, smart neighbors are making the switch over to solar to get rid of that. I don't know if you guys have looked into that or not yet, but that was what we were able to help somebody else out go from that $260 bill down to $180. Okay. Not everybody is able to qualify for it, but for those that are, it makes sense in every single way. Would there be a good time that we would be able to follow back up with her? She gets home at six o'clock. All right, we're gonna follow back up with her then, all right? Okay, cool. Good. What was your name? Alan. Alan Will, nice to meet you, all right? Okay, buddy. Have, have a great day. What does retrograde mean? I don't know, but I think that homeowner was in retrograde. No, I totally get where you guys wouldn't want to knock doors that have a no soliciting sign, but the reality of it is, maybe they didn't even put the no soliciting sign there. Maybe like the previous homeowner put it there. Maybe they don't even know it's right there. Hey, what's going on, boss man? How are you? Hey, we're just doing some research with the uh, local solar company, asking people if they've looked into going solar for their homes or, or why they haven't yet. Yeah. You're the homeowner? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, about how much would you guys say uh, roughly is like the lowest utility bill you've got this summer? 180? And then the highest one, like 200, 250 maybe? I gotcha, I gotcha. And how long have you guys lived in the house for? Six years. Six years? So if you look at this, that's what it's gonna be looking like, and that's without inflation. You guys are using OG and E for electricity, right? They just had their fifth or sixth rate hike. And so they looked at it and it was like $30 on average at the average house is paying extra now per month after these six rate hikes. And they actually asked them to do all these different like breakdowns of like why they had these rate hikes, you know, when they did them. And so obviously a lot of people are upset about the utility company nickel and dime them and it's for the same amount of power that you guys are using and they're just saying when's it going to stop and we all know it's it's not going to right so um, in the past solar did not make sense you would have had to pay all this money out of pocket you wouldn't have had everything warranty whereas now because of the um the rate hikes as well as the grid having to get what they call like hardened where they're replacing the wooden poles for metal poles a lot of people like it really makes sense now because you're taking what you're paying for electricity but now you just pay a much lower amount, 20 to 30% less. But the biggest thing is like, not everybody does qualify for it. It is a very selective program, but really all we're doing is just seeing why people haven't done it yet, answering any questions that you guys have, and then building out the reports for you guys to see if it would make sense. If not, cool. But if it does make sense, then it's something you guys would want to look into. What was your name? 
Justin. Justin Will, nice to meet you, man. Heck, sorry. No problem, man. You're a working man. We're working man. I mean, here's the deal: like you pay a lot, you you pay a lot in taxes, right? Um, and you and it's your hard-earned money, right? You're giving the utility company 150, 200 bucks a month. That's two thousand dollars a year. You've already given the utility company over ten thousand dollars for this house. Have they ever written you a check? No, of course not, right? So the idea with solar is that it's gonna be less than half what you're paying for electricity, and you get the equity back when you sell the house, because now you guys are producing your own power plant. It's 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 owning versus renting, it's putting your money into an asset instead of a liability, um, and there's an end date at that point if you're getting free power to the home. Again, it doesn't make sense for everybody, uh, but if you know we're able to help you and your wife out with saving money on the utilities, she probably wouldn't say no to that. And if you're able to have your house go up in value, she probably wouldn't say, no to that either. Would you Would you guys have time sometime tonight or tomorrow would work better? All right, cool. Well, Justin, I'm gonna shoot you a text with my digital business card and then we can just find a time. Again, it just takes 15, 20 minutes. We leave that report with you guys, answer any questions. And the biggest thing is, if there's a reason to not do it, we're, not, we're just not gonna do it. Hopefully we can help you out. Um, the utility bill with OG&E, mm -hmm. do you get usually a paper copy? No. It's all on your phone? Yeah. I gotcha. I'm just gonna take a picture of the meter on the side of your house. And what we're looking for is that little graph on the bottom left of the utility bill. Looks like that, usually right there. Uh -huh. That would determine how much energy that you guys are using. You can probably pull it up in like 30 seconds. It looks just like this right here. If you just go into your email and type in OG&E. All right, I'll put a text with you and our, uh, uh, our solar specialist, PJ. He's awesome, he's been helping hundreds of people out. Um, and then you guys just find a time that works like that, all right? Okay. Cool, nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, mm -hmm. God bless. Yo, I'm on the block, sun's blazing hot, knocking doors, selling solar, give it all I got. I'm a solar soldier on a righteous mission to save the planet and reduce their bills. Listen, do you think we should wrap that on the doors for a homeowner? Hi, how you doing today, sir? I can't complain, just working on my farmer's tan. Yeah, so we're working with a few of the neighbors. Um, we're about to head and meet with uh, the, the Timothy family, so I'll cut to the chase and give you the short version. So the point is like a lot of the homeowners are really getting upset about that, feeling like the utility company's nickel and diamond them and saying, what's the solution? When is it gonna stop? And so what our company does, we're called Nevo, is we're offering free energy savings reports. Phase one of this program was when they came out with the meter on the side of your house. It used to only pull from the grid, but now it's what's called a bi-directional meter. Were you guys here when they updated it? So with, with the new meter, it now goes both ways. So you guys are pulling from the grid, now you guys are pushing back to the grid. And so the idea is that if you guys do qualify, it's a really great program right now. It used to not make sense. I'm, and I'm sure you've had people come by for sure. But what's going on is you guys would be able to get the solar panels installed, zero dollars out of pocket. No, no solar panel. The solar panel only works when the sun's out. You're not wrong. So long. You're a hundred percent right because there's no moon solar. So how it works with net metering, and that's our job to come out and explain it to you guys, is that during the day, you get about 12 hours of sun a day, right? <laughs> you guys. So how it works is during the day, you're getting a lot of sun, right? So what happens is it goes back to the grid and now the grid is working as your storage bank, right? So during the day, you're getting a ton of the credits, like the kilowatt hours, and then at nighttime, you're pulling from the credits that you've produced. It's called net metering. That's the technical term. Hi, how are you? Net metering, you should have got a bill or a letter from your utility company explaining that. Basically, our bills have went up like 49% with OG&E over the past few years. So Oklahoma is actually doing an incentive and in paying people to put solar panels on the roof. What we could do for you is it's basically like a bill swap. So instead of paying all that money to the electric company, you would switch over to net metering. So what that is is you would have a fixed rate that you would pay to your solar and all your extra uh, energy would go back to the grid and OG&E would eventually credit you for that. I'll make this super quick for I'm sure you're probably working right now. Um, a lot of your neighbors have been noticing the utility rates going up. OG&E, it's been like six rate hikes, like an extra 30 bucks a month now. And so um, I'm sure you've had a couple people come by here letting you know about the solar program. Well, have you guys looked into it or not really? Our job's super simple. Um, with us, we're the local solar company, so we're able to give the best rates, warranties, everything like that. You know, whether you guys do it or not, um, I definitely think it's something worth looking into. We're talking to about tens of thousands of dollars in savings. You don't have to pay a penny out of pocket. When the utility company does raise, raise the rates again, you guys won't be subject to that because you guys will own your own power and it's at a fixed rate. So let's say that you guys are using like 10,000 kilowatts in a year, we would put, we, we would give it like 10,400 kilowatts, right? So you guys would be overproducing. Mm -hmm. And so how long have you guys lived in the house for? 18 years, so you've already given the utility company, I don't know if your bill's like 100 or 150, mm -hmm. anywhere from 20 to $40,000, right? That's money just like rent that you will never get back. They will never send you a check for being a loyal customer at the end of the year. Whereas with solar, it's going to be less than half what you're paying for electricity, plus you get the equity back and you don't pay anything out of pocket. So everybody's always like, I got a bunch of home improvement projects going on. And it's like, well, 
There's no other home improvement projects like solar that is zero dollars out of pocket and helps you save money today and in the future. All we do is just conduct the energy report. We'd have a solar specialist just look at your uh, your usage, show you where the panels would go. If the house isn't a good fit for solar, like I know you've got trees on that side, right? It might not work, right? So but we wanna make it out on the uh, southern or eastern or western facing roof so you guys are getting enough sun. And then if the numbers make sense, let's go for it. We'll, we'll build the report out for you. If not, now you just know you can't go solar. Um, the electric bill, do you know about how much your last electric bill was? Yeah, it's not a fun bill to get. Based on the array of your roof, I do think it'd be a potential fit, but all I would do is just look at that usage, send that to PJ, our engineer, and he'd build that report out. Okay. And then do you want to do the same time tomorrow or would tomorrow evening work better? Let's okay. do it. Cool, man. What was your name? Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you, man. What do you do for work? Wow, cool. Just no, it is a big deal. Job. That's huge. That's I, I have I have a nonprofit. It's called Battle of the Gains right there on oh, cool. my bracelet. So nice. it's all about helping the youth overcome battles, making oh, gains cool. physically, yeah. mentally, spiritually. So oh, cool, Tony Robbins, Earl Nightingale, all these guys that yeah. really changed my life. And yeah. so solar is a great um, industry to be a part of just because it's a half a trillion dollar industry. We're taking the money from the utility company and transferring that to homeowners. Mm -hmm. So over the next two years, you're going to see more people go solar than the last 40 years combined. Very so good. Kevin, I'll shoot you a text. We'll plan on two o'clock tomorrow. Sounds good. Cool. It'll be 15, 20 minutes. Three things we do during that meeting. We answer any questions that you guys have. These are the main questions that people usually do have. It's just what happens to my roof? How does maintenance work? Mm -hmm. How do the warranties work? Everything like that. And then the biggest thing is like just trying to find a reason to not do it, right? Such as like the roof doesn't make sense. You got trees, anything like that. And then the third thing we would do is just show you what program to qualify for. There's a few different programs, but with all the programs, you don't pay anything out of pocket and you just you just redirect the money that you're already paying on electricity. Cool, man. That's it. Hey, thanks, right. William. Yeah, good to meet you. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock, right? Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. I'll see you. Thanks, see yep. you. Hey, how are you? All right. Doing good? Uh-huh. Nice. Hey, I'll make this super quick for you. I'm just working with a few of your neighbors, so we're about to go meet with, um, what was his name there? Uh, Brad, uh, right around the corner here for our appointment. So we got just a second for you. Just want to stop and introduce ourselves and see if we can maybe schedule a time for us to pop back uh, later for you. So nothing we can do right now, but with OG and E, you heard about the rates going up for like the sixth time. I got gotcha, you. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. I got gotcha. you. Um, just because they raise the rates again and people are paying an extra 30 bucks a month now, what we're doing is helping people out with getting these reports built out. So I'd come back for sure when your wife's available as well as yourself. But with your neighbor, we were able to take his bill from 260 bucks down to 182. And that's a bill that never goes up again. Obviously with inflation going up and up and up and up, it never stops, right? Whereas with solar, it stays the same every single month. And then once you're done paying it off, you're getting free power to the home. You know, I'm sure your wife's like mine, like, if you have a lower bill than what you're paying right now, she probably wouldn't be having an issue with that, right? She wouldn't be upset about that. Right. And then uh, if you were able to have your house go up in value, you don't think she'd be upset about that? Probably not, right? Mm -hmm. So we know what she's probably gonna say. We just gotta find a time that works best for you guys so we can show you guys the information, show you guys what the savings would be, and then just leave that information with you. So you, you think tonight, pop by around six or seven? Yeah, cool. it'd have to be six. Okay, we'll pop back then. What was your name? My name, Charles. Charles, William, nice to meet you, man. Okay. All right, have a great day. We'll Thanks. pop by around seven, all right? All right, nice. See ya. How's it going, Mr. Charles? Hey, we're here for our uh, energy report meeting with you guys to look, uh, show you guys through the solar program. If you just got a small- We're not interested in the solar program. You guys didn't set up the appointment for us to come back by? Nope. Are you serious? Yep. All right, we had been told to come back here. All right, we must have the wrong house. What was the name on it? Charles. Is that your not Charles? Nope. Oh, dang. What's all right. the last name? Uh, Charles, uh, what was the last name? Charles Green. I was gonna say Charles Barkley, but it's definitely not Charles Barkley. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Anyways, all right, well, we'll get out of here. I mean, while, while we're here still, have you guys looked into it or no? What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm the Red Snapper. Nice to meet you. I seen the truck. I wanted <laughs> right. to come by and say hello real quick. Right. We're, we're working with quite a few of your neighbors, actually. I'm sure you've had some guys coming by talking about like the windmills, solar panels, stuff like that. Yeah. Trying to slay this, trying to slay that. So the idea here is that we're trying to do what's called the model home program. Yeah. You guys have a beautiful front lawn, well cut grass in the truck. It's really mostly, mostly about the truck. It gets a lot of attention. It gets a lot of attention, that's yeah. right. So all we're doing is building up these free reports for people. The first stage of this program, she has lived here for a little bit, like most of your neighbors, yeah. um, is that you had the meter on the side of your house. Is it, is it right here? Yeah. So if I could just show you real quick, what was your name too? I'm Gary. Gary, nice to meet you, man, Will. But they do call me the Red Snapper. There you go. Yeah. If you see right here, it used to just go one way, but now with the meter, we would put the um, end, it's called end phase. We put that box right here feeds into the meter, goes back to the grid. And the idea is that we'd be able to take that electric bill that you're getting, you're probably paying anywhere like your neighbors, 150 in the winter, 100 bucks to like 200 bucks in the summer, maybe 250, hopefully not 300, right? Yeah. The idea here is that we'd be able to take that bill that you're paying forever, 
You, it's an inflation bill. You're renting your power, you never get any money back. And we're replacing that with a much lower amount that you own, that you control, and that eventually gets paid off. And then they're paying the 30% tax credit. So it's inevitable everybody's gonna go solar. You're probably not interested. You're probably totally turned off from it. Um, but the biggest thing is like, dude, you wanna do it before the grid fills up. All right guys, we're in our second door knocking session of the day. This is Jaden, one of the top reps, if not the top rep in Oklahoma. So you guys are about to learn a ton from him. Let's get into it, bro. Let's get it. Pretty good. Hey, I'll make this super quick. We're just working with one of your neighbors. My name's Will. You're the homeowner, right? Yeah. Awesome, nice to meet you. So really what's going on is a lot of your neighbors have been noticing with OG&E, the utility rates are going up quite a bit. Some are mad, some aren't mad. They're just like, hey, we just gotta pay it, it is what it is, right? Uh, but for a lot of the neighbors that are wanting to get their rates locked in, they've been looking into the new uh, solar program. I don't know if you're completely turned off from it or if you've seen the savings. <laughs> you say we won't do it. I got gotcha. you. You guys are moving? Biggest thing holding you back is you're moving? Yeah. Next year or two, six months? Like, like tomorrow. I got gotcha. you. You guys maybe gonna put it on the next house? Totally with you. Yeah, biggest thing with solar is you don't come out of pocket at all, and you just go from paying that high electric bill to a much lower amount. I hear it. No, I'm hearing you're removing, but just for the future, I definitely think you should check it out. The economics. People aren't going solar because of the environment. They're going solar because instead of giving the utility company sure. fifty to hundred thousand dollars, solar is half of that. You can get it back when you sell your house. So it's ownership versus renting. It's putting your money into an asset well, yeah. instead of a liability. Well, you know. But uh, definitely, I think you should check it out. What was the what was the best number for you? 405. 405. So like we always say, guys, get something from him, right? That was Josh. We just got three potential referrals. Emily and Amanda. Amanda, we got his phone number for the future. Um, the biggest thing, guys, is like a lot of people might be intimidated by that guy, right? But it's just about your posture, right? Like these people were just here to help, right? At the end of the day, we all shop at Walmart. You know, we're all the same and we're all trying to save a buck. Awesome, appreciate you taking the time real quick. We'll make this super quick for you. My name's Will. We we're just working with Josh, two houses down. I don't know him. I got gotcha. you. Anyway. Most people don't know their neighbors. So um, the reason why we're here is because, the reason why we're still here is because the utility company, lg &E, you guys are using them for electricity. They just did their fifth or sixth rate hike. And so a lot of your neighbors are really upset about that just because they're not stopping the rate hikes, right? Hey, how you doing today, sir? Pretty good. Pretty good. Is that your Red Ford Expedition? Yeah. Man, I love that thing. Thank you. Yeah. Well, hey, I'll keep it super quick and give you the short version. You're the homeowner, right? Awesome, nice to meet you. My name's William. We're working with quite a few of your neighbors, actually. Yeah, so we're not selling anything. What we're qualifying homes for is the new solar project. You might have heard about what's going on where you guys are able to qualify for it. Zero dollars out of pocket. Mmm, he's heard of the rent the roof. I like that, yes. That, that is one of the programs that you would be able to qualify for. Yeah, I wouldn't be interested in something that I don't, I don't really know exactly what the numbers look like either. But if you see that, it says negative $30, right? So that's where you're getting paid for the excess power. I'm with you. What's the big, biggest thing holding you back? Is it the solar itself or the saving money part? Hi, how are you? Fine. Super quick, sorry to bother you. Are you. Do you happen to be the homeowner by chance? Maybe. Sorry, nothing crazy. Um, We're yeah, following up. Bottom line. Bottom line. Sick dog here. What is he? Oh my God. He's gonna be having surgery. What's okay, the bottom line? super quick, it's nothing crazy. We're just going around updating a few of the neighbors in here about the new, the new changes with the meter on the side of your home. Did you guys get any of the information on that? It's, n it's nothing crazy. Um, they flipped them out a few years ago. Um, basically allowed you guys to go both ways. You know how you guys pull power from og &E's grid? Right now, everyone's been getting hit with these super high rate increases. Okay. I think all of you, I'm sorry. I hope your dog feels better. I really do. She said, honey, my dog is sick. She was like, my dog's more important than you. You were like, no, I get it. <laughs> but you should be like, I'm a dog wolf. <laughs> no, that's a bit weird. They were talking about like renting your roof and like some like lease program. So with us, Nebo, you'd actually be able to own it. You don't have to pay anything out of pocket. You are the homeowner, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So really what's going on is... I eventually got to pay something out of pocket. <sighs> no, how it is is you take what you're already paying. You get a bill you always have to pay. You're going to pay it to the, the day you die, right? And you're never getting anything back from that, right? The utility company, lg &E, they've had how many rate hikes uh, over the last year? I really don't notice. Six, right? And so obviously you're doing good, but there's some people that are not. Well, if your wife's anything like mine, she probably would not be happy with the bill going up, right? And she would probably be happy if the bill were to go down. But the idea is this, right? With your truck right here, if you were to pay 600, six, seven, 800 bucks a month for it forever, you can never pay it off, you wouldn't do that, right? And that's what we're doing with electricity. Whereas with solar, it stays the same every single month and then there's an end date, right? So with inflation, it's killer. Everything's going up, gas, right, eggs. But with solar, right, it would stay the same. 
And again, it's a bill that you already, you already have to pay. With solar, it's just gonna be less and it never goes up again, right? So what we're proposing is that you would be a model home where we wouldn't have you pay any of the upfront costs, activation fees, no labor, anything like that. And it's just a simple bill swap. All we do is just build out that report for you. And really, I mean, it's super simple. We just look at where the panels would go, show you what the savings would look like. And if you can take the bill you're already paying, not paying anything out of pocket and just pay a little bit less and know that it's fixed and that there's an end date and that you own it and it builds equity to the house, that's why everybody's doing it, right? And then what time would work tomorrow for you and the wife to be around? Oh, she'll get home about 5.30. Okay, we'll stop by at six. That'll work. Cool, what's the best number for you? 4.05. We'll see you tomorrow at 5.30. Looks like a Baptist committee meeting. We're just going around trying to change politics, religion, we got it all. No, I'm just kidding, man. Super quick, sorry to bother. What's, what's your name, by the way? I'm Jaden. I'm Bruce. Bruce, nice to meet you, man. Following up, your guys' neighborhood, um, you guys just got hit with the fifth rate hike from OG&E. Did you guys get that in the mail or see it on the news? Uh, yeah, okay. I've seen Okay, it's probably the reason you guys have gotten a bunch of these like door-to-door -door, um, panel sales guys knocking on your door. Yeah. You guys get those a lot? Okay, no, no. So basically what's going on, um, there's a few programs that are available to people right now um, to basically redirect all that money that you guys are just donating to the power company. Have you seen people start to put the solar panels up kind of in your guys' area here and there? It's starting to pop up a little bit more. This neighborhood's obviously a little bit newer. So what we're basically able to do is take people's super high electrical bills that are going up every single month and replace it with something that's a, a fixed bill. Um, essentially, if you're home qualified, I'm not making promises or anything, it, it doesn't always work, but if your guys' roof can pull more power from the sun than what you guys pull from OG&E's grid, basically we can eliminate your, your OG&E bill and replace it with a fixed bill. Have you guys noticed since you guys moved in, kind of like every single year that your guys' bills kind of creeped its way up, gone a lot more expensive? So a lot of the people we actually work with with this program are retired, um, just because a lot of the people are on, on a fixed income. Uh, basically, a lot of these homeowners are, are finding peace knowing, hey, like, I'm going to bed every night knowing this is what my electrical bill is going to be. It's not going to jump. It's not going to get any higher. Um, but basically, what we do on our end, um, nothing crazy. I, we we put, basically put the reports together. We use your guys' annual kilowatt usage. Um, we put a design together, and we basically just show you guys option A versus option B, traditional renting your power versus owning it, kind of the apples to apples. And then if it makes sense, we can help you guys through that process and kind of show you guys what it would look like. So for you, um, there's a couple homes on the street that we are actually looking at is using model homes for us or, or reference points is what we call them. Basically, if we could put a sign out in your guys' neighbor or in your guys' front yard, use you guys as a reference point marketing tool. Um, we're not gonna ask you to go on the corner of the street and flip a sign and tell people that try to go solar, but if you guys would be willing to do that for us, we'd be willing to go ahead and, and eat the, the out-of-pocket cost through our marketing budget. And then what it would leave you guys with is just a, a cheaper bill than what you're paying right now. So hypothetically, if it all made sense, your roof can pull more power, it would eliminate your OG&E bill, you guys would get left with a, a fixed solar bill. One never goes up um, and it eventually has an end date unlike your, your never ending bill with OG&E. So that's kind of how it works. When you pay, when your wife pays the bill, does she normally get it in the mail or online? I don't even know if it will make sense. You guys were just one of the homes we were looking at. Um, I think it would be a good fit, but um, that's kind of what my job is, is just to kind of put the numbers together and, and see if it would make sense. It's not a sales process. It says your home qualify if it qualifies, and I, I break it down to you and show you. Yeah, all, all I want to do is just give you the information. Is she here? She's probably listening to <laughs> Joy, Joy, come on, give me, give, me, give me a sec, give me three minutes. <laughs> Last thing I'll leave you with is, I know a lot of people want to wait, it's always not the best time. Oklahoma, once 15% of homes get renewables, solar panels, most neighborhoods are only already at 12, 13%. So once they get to that 15%, even if you guys wanted to get solar, you wouldn't be able to do it, right? You guys are literally sitting on a lottery right now by not having solar and still have an opportunity to get it. All right, guys, that was a solid knocking session. We got a good appointment with Mr. Jeremy set up for tomorrow. Jaden, yeah, I loved hearing your, your uh, presentation there, dude. I see why people say you're the goat of Oklahoma. So I appreciate you coming out here and knocking with us, bro. You're headed to an appointment right now. Our goal is to get five deals on the board today, guys. So I'm getting this Nevo Prodigy tattoo on my kneecap right there. But what did you think about the knocking session, bro? It was awesome. We took, we took them as far as we could go. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. What's your final message for everybody watching, bro? What, what can they expect over the next couple of days, weeks, and months? Get on the doors. We're gonna, we're gonna throw up the numbers. It's just yep. repetition, repetition, numbers, doors. That's all it comes down to. Let's go, guys. We're gonna outwork everybody. We will be the greatest solar sales force on planet Earth, and we're gonna go out and win, guys. Let's get it. We'll see you in the next video. Whatever we got, you don't want it? Belly button rings? Nope. Belly button rings? Hey, real quick, we're selling solar.